<laughs> See, I'm in the field. I can make out the question. I'm in the field. Regarding your first part, that you can solve 20 points. I have got various students in this field. I'll ask one of my students to have a look at IRF. If you want, any time, which date? Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Not me, my student. Next Sunday. I can, I can have answer to anybody. Next Sunday. Anybody. Next Sunday. Anybody. Okay, no. done. Next Sunday, you are invited. What's your name? Brother, your name. Everything will be given. Mr. Mr. Bade will come to IRF at 10.30. Fine. 10.30 morning. Sunday. Same format here. And my student will debate. Anyone. Same topic. His question that God has provided air, right, water, everything easily available. So why go for things which are uneasily available and costly? Very good question. That you have to point out to Mr. Zaveri. He is telling that vegetables should be transported to Arctic Circle. <laughs> vegetables should be transported to, to deserts. Tell him. I didn't say that. I am saying if vegetable is available, have vegetable. If animal is available, have the lawful animal. You have to pose that question to him, not to me. Point number one. You should have easily available food as long as it is awful. We should have expensive food, you told me. It's like I telling a rich person, why are you living in Nariman Point? You know, one square feet of land, apartment, Nariman Point, costs 25,000 rupees. Come to Mira Road, only 1,000 rupees per square feet. When the rich man can afford to pay money to buy a good flat, why are you preventing a rich man to buy good food? And non veg food in protein in and in various ways medically, it is superior, it's of higher quality. So if rich man can afford it, why are you stopping? If you can't afford have vegetables, I'm not stopping you. Hope that answers the question. Thank you for your enthusiasm. I uh, will not allow that question. Mr. Zaveria said he would like to is he's exhausted and we respect his views. Uh, uh, he would like to leave, so we will not allow that question, but we will allow two people here who are to ask questions after Mr. Zaverian leave because I promised them. Yes, no. yes uh, Mr. Dhanraj Sarlecha would propose a vote of thanks, after which those who would like to leave may leave, those who would like to hear those two questions and two answers may sit. Excuse me, one question from the lady's side. It's not working. Uh, hello. The meeting would be formally closed. Only two questions hello. after the meeting would be allowed. Hello. Excuse me, this is one last question from the ladies. This is for Dr. Zakir. Uh, no, we will allow the... No, we'll, uh, chai, no, after this, just two people and one from the ladies, no one else would be... Uh, one, one, two, three, four. Four questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello? It, it, Mister, excuse me. Mr. Tavedi is saying I should be strict. Now the thing is that I am being compassionate. I give chance to two people here. Now everyone is demanding a thing. Uh, what we allow? Vote of thanks right away. Then four questions. Two here, one there, one there. Then close. That's final. Yes, Mr. Dhanra Chalecha to propose a vote of thanks. Chief guests, Sri Vip Trivedi, learned speakers of dialogue, distinguished guests, brothers and sisters. It's really my pleasant duty to offer vote of thanks on behalf of all the three organizations on whose behalf I thank Sri Vip Trivedi to spare his valuable time and grace this occasion as chief guest. I am really thankful to both the speakers for their most interesting and informative discussion and above all, I thank you all the participants for participating in the debate. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now we continue on with the four questions. The, the chief guest, Mr. Trivedi, Mr. Zaveri are excused. Those who would like to hear the two, three or four questions aloud may sit back. We will continue in a minute as the chief guest and, and the speaker leave. The formal program is closed. We will have an informal four questions aloud for the audiences, for the four questioners who didn't get a chance because of my interfering and giving the other speakers a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. We are starting the sequel question answer session right away yes brother my question is are non vegetarian food deficient in nutrition the brother asked a very good question that are non vegetarian food deficient in any nutrient yes they are it would be wrong on my part to say no i am not a fanatic non vegetarian is deficient in carbohydrate Vitamin C, 
but this is easily available in vegetables non veg even vegetables and fruits they are rich in vitamin c we can have fruits but as a normal comparison in nutritive value if you analyze the non veg food as i mentioned earlier it contains first class protein high quality and complete protein contains essential fatty acids even iron and one of the good foods is egg which the speaker spoke so much against egg egg the egg contains about 6 grams of protein one large egg the half of it is egg white and the egg white is known as an ideal protein ideal protein with a protein by which other proteins are judged it contains all the essential amino acids in the right quantity egg also contains riboflavin iron folate vitamin b12 vitamin d vitamin e one of the few only foods which contain vitamin d is egg egg is given to people who are sick and not convalescing who improving from sickness you know why it's easily digested contain all the requirement spoke so much about egg it has little negative factors also it's also called a nutrient dense food because it contains all the essential nutrients in the right quantity without excess of any one particular substance and contains less calorie contains 70 calories only one large egg but the many food which contain essential amino acids which are not there in the veg food in the veg food what we have to do if we require all the nutrients a person can be a veg and get the nutrients how by selecting the particular diet by selecting the vegetable is eating if this vegetable deficient in one amino acid have the other vegetable which has it so if we selectively choose this in the correct balance and monitor it then it will be healthy in non veg food just as in non veg food and normally you won't be deficient in the nutrients hope that answers the question yes uh, 